Hello, I'm Dr. John Hancock, Executive Dean of McGovern Medical School. Our medical students are no short of amazing. They dedicate themselves to four years of medical school, learning patient care, engaging in research, and improving our community. One area where our students don't normally participate is teaching, until now. Thanks to an innovative idea from Jonathan Lee, a McGovern Medical School student, we are flipping the script, looking for the best teachers among our students. Dr. Mary Horton and Dr. Samuel Neher, with our Office of Educational Programs, are going to tell us more about this inaugural teaching competition for students. One of the students, the president of the Academic Medical Student Organization, first came to me. Uh, he brought me this idea of a teaching competition. And I said, this sounds like fun. The students requested that we be able to name the award. It will be the Gary C. Rosenfeld Teaching Award or Excellence in Teaching. It was important to us that we would have a variety of students from each of the years be involved as well as faculty involvement throughout the process. It's a variety of topics, and they bring in science into those topics. So it may not necessarily be something that you would necessarily learn in the classroom, although it could be, but it's bringing in those components into other interesting ideas. Leadership have really embraced this. We've had a lot of excitement, and I think it's the engagement with students. It's another way of building bonds with students. The school leadership and the faculty were enthusiastic about participation, whether it was the peer review process, mm -hmm. whether it was being a coach, or whether it was being a judge. Mm -hmm. I think it's not only about how do you put together an activity like this, which is, I think, a learning opportunity for a lot of students. I think there's also learning that happens in how do you teach effectively. Right, creating a rubric, for example. Um, how do you present well to an audience, a um, pretty diverse audience? And then how do you then also do a research project? So how many nails can you get with one hammer? And our students are doing a great job with that. Even if you have a different interest, right? You might have right. an interest in global health. You might have an interest in women's health and be able to take that knowledge and that background and then apply it in a classroom setting so that you can, whether it's teach patients or teach future students. Teaching and communication are just such essential qualities of an academic physician, but but also of any physician. And so, you know, we, we really believe in this as an activity that can really promote their professionalism. I applaud our more than 20 innovative students who entered this first student teaching competition, as well as the eight competing finalists and winners. This unique program is helping our learners learn and our teachers teach. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Hancock's Headlines.